Wow, she's beautiful. Look at the curves on her. <laughs> wow. Oh, hi. <laughs> oh, I was just checking out a beer here. What did you think it was? Oh, oh here, look. There you go, see? No, I was just looking at this here, though. A uh, nice looking beer, though, online there. On the Propeller website, though. It's, uh, it's called Bohemian Style Pilsner. I like the blue label. It's cool. <laughs> it uh, kind of caught my eye. I, I wouldn't mind trying that one. Anyway. Oh. So, as you can see in front of me here, I've got a beer I'm going to try tonight. It's yeah. called... Yeah, you can see that, right? There it is, Propeller. Hey, Propeller, London Style Porter. This is going to be a special one for me because I'm, I'm usually not, uh, I'm not uh, the type. Uh, I, I'm not really into dark drinking dark beers, but well, I'm going to try it anyways and see how it, how it comes out. I'm going to I'm going to jump off the the deep end here and see see how I like it. Um, so this particular beer here is. Uh, it's been around for a, for quite a long time. It's a propeller London style porter, and it's a smooth blend of pale roasted and chocolate malts, balanced with an English and North American hops. A two-time silver medal winner. Tip a porter and judge for yourself. Yes. So according to their their website, this year has won uh, a few gold awards and some silver awards, um, notably in the. Uh, and the and the World Beer Championships in Chicago, 2007 and 2008, and again it won its silver in uh, in Chicago in 2002, well back in 2002, so not too bad. Um, in 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 the brewing of this beer, they included, uh, I guess, uh, such hops as uh, Warrior hops, uh, Willamette hops, Irish hops, Irish moss, sorry, Irish moss hops, yeah, and uh, pale malts, crystal malts, roasted and chocolate malts. Awesome. So it's suggested. Its suggestion is to serve uh, to serve this beer between uh, pro, uh, seven and ten degrees Celsius. So I've had it sitting in the fridge for about two two weeks now or more. So I had to take it out and let it warm up a bit for a little while. So I'm going to give it a go here, and um, hopefully this is not a not a disaster for me. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully it's good. Hopefully I don't mind it. I know there's a lot of people that do like this type of beer. It's, you know, strong flavored, dark type of beer. I'm not a big fan of it, but I'm going to try it tonight. I just sort of been all this talk on other, you know, other channels and and, and such of of this chocolate malt, chocolate flavored, chocolate hint, double chocolate. You know, all this kind of you know, if you hear the word so much, you you it kind of interests you the more you hear it. So. The more you want to try it out, so so I'm gonna give her give her a pour. And I'm gonna give her a little taste, and got my 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 glass here. I guess you're not. I don't know. I think you're not supposed to get a big head on these things. <laughs> I don't know if you are or not. To be honest with you, I'm not too sure. But anyways, whoop! There's the pour on that. I didn't quite uh, fit. It's a big bottle. I didn't quite fit it all in this glass. I'm on the cannon tonight, so I uh, I'm at a distance here. I don't got my remote. So there you go. It's super dark. Nice and dark. I don't got my flashlight with me. Oh well. Can't see through it anyways. So. Let me give it a snort. Give her a sniff here and, and uh, see what it smells like. Not a whole lot in the uh, not a whole lot of aroma, eh? I guess that's what you're supposed to get the uh, 
get some of that foam up there for her to get some of the aroma out of it, but yeah, it's kind of a mild, a mild aroma, but I can I can smell the um, uh, I can smell the hops. It's the hops that uh, give it that smell, isn't it? it? Smells nice, yeah. Now let's give it a sip and and uh, see what I see what I think of it. different from what I'm usually used to. It's definitely different. Yeah, uh, not too bad. Hmm. <coughs> I can definitely chase, taste that um, that chalk, the chocolate malt, uh, that really comes out in the aftertaste. I can, I can taste that. Um, the initial taste, hmm, it's hard to say. It's a bit difficult for me. I'm finding because it's, there's, there's quite a bit of carbonation in this. So as I'm sipping it, I'm finding the carbonation is kind of masking the, 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 the initial flavors. Um, but there's definitely, there's definitely, you know, definitely the, the, the hot flavor, of course, as, as, as others have mentioned, it's there. <laughs> mm, well, it's not bad, considering that I'm not a, considering that I'm not really in the dark beer, it's not bad. I don't mind it. The initial, my initial reaction to, to drinking this is I'm a little surprised because it's got a refreshingness to it because it's, it's thin, right? It's not, it's not meant as a thick, a thick beer or anything. It's got no thickness to it, so it's very thin. So, uh, yeah, that was my initial uh, reaction was the freshness. It's got, you know, like a thin, you know, like an easy to, easy to drink thinness to it. <laughs> And uh, it's not bad. I, I don't mind it. Considering. Maybe I can get. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's got, it's got a nice aroma, but it's, it's a mild aroma. It's not strong at all. It's a big bottle, it's 650 mils. So. Excuse me now. Oh, I didn't mean that. Oh, wait a minute, no, there's another flavor. There's another flavor. Okay, yeah. It's good, yeah. I like it. I don't mind it. Yeah, I don't mind that. I don't mind that. It's not, it's not overbearing. It's not, it, it doesn't just slap you right in the face and say, you know, Wow, here's all the flavor. It's 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 got good flavor, but it's not overbearing. It's not it doesn't you know, none of, none of the flavors are, are are very strong, so but it's good. It's I think it's right about the, the right temperature. It feels like it's it's you know I don't know. I don't have a thermometer. <laughs> but yeah, that's the uh not bad, that's the propeller. Propeller propeller London style porter from Halifax, Nova Scotia. Pretty good. That's pretty good. I don't really mind it, but uh, you guys can check it out for yourself. And there she be. I'm gonna say cheers to you guys, and I'm gonna say thank you for for watching tonight. It's a Saturday night. I think it's turning into Sunday now, cause it's probably midnight or so. Anyways, cheers. Thanks a lot. I'll uh, I'll see you in a bit. Nice. Take care.